is of often start when we observe something and it makes us wonder have you ever had a question about the world like what plants needs to grow or how to blow bigger bubbles there is a way to explore the questions and to find the answer to these and other questions that is used by scientists it is called scientific methods if you use it you can be scientist too the scientific methods creates a framework for logically and systematically experimenting in order to find answers a scientific question usually starts with who what when where why and how identify steps of scientific methods the scientific method is a set of principles and procedures followed to gain knowledge through making questions and observations performing experiments and formulating and testing a hypothesis is there only one scientific method when you first took science class in school you probably learned the basic steps of scientific investigations you've likely heard of words like hypothesis experiments and observations you may have even memorized a prescribed set of steps the scientific method is a set of procedures that scientists follow in order to gain knowledge about the world however the steps involved in the scientific method vary widely among the different scientific disciplines chemists follow the methods a bit differently than psychologist and geologist and botanists have their own unique method so is there really one scientific method that encompasses all of the science to find out we'll need to learn more about the scientific process key elements of the scientific methods so there are six key, six key steps that tends to characterize the scientific method the first step is question this is the best part where a scientist proposes the problem that he or she wants to solve a well conceived question leads to the hypothesis a potential answer to the question at hand sometimes hypothesis looks more like predictions the scientist predicts what the outcomes will be when he or she tests the hypothesis the test is also called experiments experiments are ordered investigations that are intended to prove or disprove a hypothesis important data comes from performing an experiments the scientists have to make observations of the results that he or she gets from the experiments an observation is a statement of knowledge gained through the sense or through the use of scientific equipments observations are crucial for collecting data once the results are in the scientist must begin the analysis data analysis involves comparing the results of the experiments to the prediction posed by the hypothesis based on the observation he or she make the scientist has to determine whether the hypothesis was correct the conclusions of the scientific process is a statement of whether the original hypothesis was supported or refuted by the observation gathered so these six steps question hypothesis experiments observations analysis and conclusions the six steps of scientific method do not always occur in the same order the scientific method usually employs all six of the steps i mentioned but the steps don't always occur in the same order real scientists may go back and repeat steps many times before they come to any conclusions it's actually better to use the word elements to describe the steps since the first step question does not always come first sometimes for example it's an observation that comes first and spawns the initial question likewise observation that are made during an experiments can inspire more question the scientists have to answer the scientific method is much more let me show 
you how the steps that can feed back and branch out from one another with an example of any unexperience for this must watch the next video